Hey there, uh, this time I just want to share with you guys some additional XP tips that I have learned. I had created a video about XP tips a while back and this is part 2 of my XP tips videos. So more to come and let's get started. So first up is assigning sound, speech, or other tones to any particular action or event on Windows XP. So first up is open control panel go to sound speech and audio devices go to change the sound scheme and this window should pop up under the sounds tab scroll down to the sound scheme windows default and then if this pops up just hit no you could also notice uh, a list of program events with their correspond corresponding sounds um, if a particular event has a speaker icon beside it it basically means that it is already uh, with a sound or uh, a sound is already assigned to it so you could edit that if you want to but I'm going to give you an example of those without yet so an example we maximize so I don't have any sound for maximize yet so the speaker icon um, is not visible so just go to sounds and then hit browse so you can either download a WAV file or a sound file you could also record your own or you could also choose from our default sounds here under the media folder so I'll just choose tada hit ok if you're satisfied and the speaker icon should appear beside the particular action I had chosen. So if you're satisfied with that, just hit apply and hit OK. So to check if it works, I'm going to maximize this window. And the particular sound I assigned should play. So there you go. Um, you can also use this as a practical joke so you can change it to a scary sound or a funny sound or whatever to um, um, you know either scare off or um, just play a joke on your friends or family members so anyway if I go back to the change the sound scheme and I scroll down to maximize and I don't want that particular sound all I have to do is scroll to the none option and uh, the sound should disappear so the icon also disappears and making it um, um, silent again or basically if you don't want sound um, you can uh, assign a different tone or just remove it so there you go that's how you assign sounds speech if you want to record something you can also assign that save it as a WAV file and that's it okay next tip um, I actually learned this from another YouTube user so I don't want to take credit um, for this I had learned this from PZ Wiz Kid. He is among my subscriptions so you might want to check out his channel has some great tutorials and I had noticed that uh, this particular tip is um, being um, taught by a lot of users, but PizzyWiz Kids method is the easiest. So anyway, I'm just going to teach you his uh, method. I, I really want to share this because it's really cool. So as you can see, my recycle bin is actually renamed. So we're just going to rename our recycle bin. So to do that, just go to start and then hit run. Because basically, if you would notice, we can't rename recycle bin on the old fashioned way. You know, um, double click or right click rename or right click properties. Um, you can't do that with um, the recycle bin. I don't know why, but you just can't. So anyway, uh, you go to run and then you type in reg edit so your registry editor window should pop up 
like so. And I must warn you, if you alter um, your values or, or whatever in this particular folder or the other folders under registry editor, um, be extra careful because um, if you screw up, it might screw up your whole system. So just be extra careful if you're dealing with your registry editor, alright? So, um, if you open your registry editor, just go to h key underscore classes underscore root. Then scroll down to letter C. So it's C L S I D, this one. So expand that. And we're going to locate, um, we have a bunch of serial numbers here. So we're going to locate the folder containing. Uh, 645FF. Okay. A lot of users actually had uploaded a video about this, but some uploaded uh, complicated uh, ways or methods on how to rename your um, recycle bin. Others use um, Tweak UI. If I'm not mistaken, it's a freeware program you can use to tweak or basically edit your system files. So we're go to six four five. I'm sorry, I'm slow. Anyway, six four five ff o four o. Anyway, it's the only one with uh, this. So expand that. Then go to shell folder. Then go to attributes here. And then right click. Go to modify. So as you can see, it's the value data is. Uh, four zeros, forty, o one, o twenty. So delete the forty, change it to seventy, or seven. Just ch just change it to seven, like so. Hit OK, and then close. Now with that, um, you should be able to rename a recycle bin the old the old fashioned way. So I'm gonna rename this as garbage. And there you go. So that's how you basically rename your recycle bin the easy way. So credit goes to PizzyWizKid. Awesome um, user. Great tutorials. Okay, last step for this video. So let's say I opened up this particular folder. And this is what it contains. So I have five files here. And I have another folder here. So let's say I'm going to transfer three of my folders or of my files I mean to this particular folder so to do that let's say I'll transfer this one this one and this one so I'll copy this one paste it there copy this one paste it there copy this. or um, rearrange them uh, basically and then highlight them all and then drag it there another way to do this is let's say I want to copy fun sponge pad and thief to my new folder, you hold your control key and basically select um, your particular file that you want to transfer and then you can drag it all on your new folder like so. So even though they're not adjacent with each other, you can still select them by holding the control key. So I think that's really cool. So let's go to the new folder. So let's say you want to rename this into one um, name. So since this is all about SpongeBob, uh, I'm gonna rename it. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna highlight all, and then right click, and then rename, and then I'm gonna hit Sponge. Well, okay, and there you go. It's automatically renamed SpongeBob. And to distinguish one from the other. Um, you have numbers which are automatically assigned with them. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's another tip you could use. Just a quick tip. And to those who already know this, um, this is for the benefit of those who don't know yet. Again, and to all my subscribers, thanks for the sub. More to come. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Just message me here on YouTube. So thanks for watching this video. And as always... Have fun.